Uh, welcome to Brighton Cookery School. Today I'll be showing you some simple recipe. Uh, we're going to use a wonderful uh, grain of cold quinoa, uh, which is a wonderful alternative to couscous um, and pulses. I, uh, I've got a mixture of quinoa grain, some are red, some are black and some are white. Um, this grain originates from uh, Bolivia and uh, the surrounding of Black Lake Titicaca in uh, South America. I uh, will be using these. I'm going to use some Mediterranean prawns cooked. Uh, I will be using some chickpeas and I'm going to use a pattern of squash. Uh, that pattern of squash, I'm going to cut it in bits just like this. Man, it's pretty hard. I'm going to cut it this way. I've got the oven on for a good 5-10 uh, um, minutes. Temperature 180 degrees, 200 degrees Celsius. Um, what I will be doing here, I'm, gonna not, I'm not going to peel it. I'm going to keep the skin on, giving them obviously a good wash. Uh, and I'm going to create some wedges, just like this. Uh, like this, like this, like this, and like this. Something about that size, or perhaps a little bit smaller than that. Pretty much like this. Skin on. The skin of the squash is actually pretty good to eat. It gives a bit of a crock on, plus uh, makes it far more interesting to eat, really. Uh, I'm going to mix all of that in here. Probably gonna, not going to use this bit. And I will be doing this, that, this, that. Cut it like that, okay? Same thing with that bit. I'm going to put this lovely uh, butler squash wages into a lovely roasting tray, just like this. I'm going to take some olive oil in there. Olive oil, any oil we do actually. A little toss in there, okay? I'm going to put some seasoning. Black pepper, white black pepper, because I like it. Could be white pepper, pink pepper, whatever pepper, doesn't really matter. Uh, salt, pepper, salt in here, be generous about it, don't be shy. Take my hands, I'm gonna give them a good toss around. All around like that. In here, making sure all the wages are nicely coated with the oil. Uh, I'm gonna put them into a, I'm going to make some space around it, just like that, a space between each wages to make sure all the heat travels around and give me some nicely roasted thing. Put this in the oven. Be back in a minute. Welcome back again. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make some cavallero, uh, cavallero nero, which is a, a type of brassicae family, a cabbage, an Italian cabbage, uh, who's nice and elongated like that. Uh, pretty easy to pick. Good wash, first of all. What I'm going to do, very simple. I'm going to take this thing, I'm going to take my hands and just run it down just like that. The stalk, you could eventually eat it, but I mean, not really nice. Uh, I'm going to carry on doing that. That. Add a bit of speed in there, you can go very quickly. When the leaves are very small like that, you can, you know, you can leave it like that. Put it like this and then carry on as fast as I can. Yes. Okay. There we go. In here. And the best way to cook green vegetable like this, I personally, uh, I don't really want to mess them around. I don't want to add spices upon spices. I want to keep it as simple as possible. Okay. Uh, obviously, you know, cabbage is relatively versatile, therefore you can do whatever you want. But the way I'm going to do it is very simple. I'm going to, what we call it, braise my cabbage. I'm not going to add pancetta. I'm not going to add smoky bacon. I'm not going to add any meat or anything like that. I want to keep it simple, very simple. I'm going to take my a pot, okay. Uh, I am not going to some water in my pot, bring it to boil and adding my cabbage. No, 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 no. 
I'm going to take simply a pot. I think that should be enough. You just be a new right. Like I'm going to take a pot just like that. Put it in there. Put my cabbage in there. Just as it comes, you know, the way I just did. In here, simple. In here, maybe cut a little bit if the big, the, the leaves are too big. Just like that. Okay. I'm gonna add. Let's put everything in here. I'm sure you're hungry, right? Mm -hmm. Put some salt in there. You know, just some amount of salt in there. People keep telling me you put too much salt. No, I don't think so. I'm going to put some black pepper in here, okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of water, about half a cup of water, a lead, and in a back burner for a good 10 to 15 minutes until my cabbage gets softened. I like to eventually keep a little bite in there and then serve it simply. Back to cooking. Uh, my cabbage has being braised, you know, it's being cooked. As you can see in here, what I'm going to do now, I've got a bit of knob of butter in here, which I'm going to introduce to my um, cabbage, my cavallero nero, just to give it a bit of a flavour also, and it makes it, um, g gives better flavour in other words. So I'm going to put this in there, give them a nice mix in here, okay, in here, and I'm just going to take a bowl, just like so, and I'm just going to serve it straight away, okay? This cabbage will be perfectly well for any type of stew, as a side um, vegetables in here, let's put it in there, let's drain all the water away, just like this, put it on the plate, like that, lovely winter dish, well, actually you can have it anytime you like really, you don't have to wait for winter for these things. In here, get rid of that little bit in there, sorry. Put it back again, that's how it's his job. Add another bit of butter in here, just a little bit, okay. A bit of butter once in a while, it doesn't really hurt. Okay, have a little Nero. The next one is, I'm going to take my bowl in there. Remember the uh, butternut squash? They managed to get a nice colour, you know. They're not entirely... Uh, they're not falling apart, you know, have managed to retain all their shape, that's the thing. Uh, cutting the right chunk, the right size, too small, uh, everything will start to disintegrate, fall apart, uh, you will retain the flavour, I mean, uh, on the plate it will look not as amazing as if you cut it in big chunk like this, okay? Uh, the skin, uh, wonderful flavour, uh, I'm not sure you have a uh, crunch into it. So I'm going to put this in here, just like that. Make sure I'm using my finger here, with the spoon actually. I'm going to put everything in here. Okay, let's get rid of that. Remember the quinoa, not the quinoa, quinoa. Okay, I'm going to put some in here, not too much in here. The next step, I'm going to put those blanch cooked chickpeas. Okay, which is basically a bit of chickpeas, soft overnight, uh, and cook until tender. Okay, uh, you can, they, this one are, are actually pretty hard still. I, I, I personally like that little crunch behind. So I'm just going to put everything in here, not everything, some in there. Okay, I'm going to take my prawns in there, and I'm just going to, sorry, forgive me, I'm going to take a blue chopping board, okay, half and safety, I wouldn't like to disappoint them, and I'm going to take some in there, I'm going to cut it lengthwise in here, just to make sure that little intestine bit are discarded, because if you actually don't really want that, it's not really nice to eat, I'm going to put it in there, I'm going to cut it in half, add into my bowl in there, in here, same thing in here, I don't want to put too much because obviously I want to have uh, you know, lots of vegetables. I don't want the uh, prawns to steal the show on my plate here. Okay, same thing over there. You see this one can be kept as almost as a fan like that. There we go. Let's put five in there and that's enough for me. You can add some herbs in there if you want, some parsley, coriander, chives, 
chervil, pretty much anything you like. I'm gonna keep it that way. Not much. Uh, dressing wise, you can. I'm gonna put some virgin olive oil. I'm gonna do the Italian way. I, I, I wouldn't like to put everything into a mixer, shake it, and having something really thick. If you go to Italy, any restaurant, you always end up with olive oil, vinegar separately, and so on. So I'm just gonna take a few drizzle in here. In here, just very simple virgin olive oil. Uh, tremendous flavor. Doesn't need to be. You know, little mix as I go along in here, in here. I, uh, do, 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 and I'm gonna add ruby grapefruit in there. Oh, chopping ball away. We don't want this one anymore. Change my knife. Cut it in there. In there, sorry. You see that? Sorry about that. Look. In here. In here. That will add that little tangy, that little vinegary kind of flavor. I'm gonna take all my uh, skin away. I mean, you see, like, butternut squash, quinoa, quinoa, sorry. Uh, uh, prawns, you can put a little ones, it doesn't really matter, chickpeas. And I'm gonna put my grapefruit. And what I'm gonna do here, as you can see, I'm gonna take all the uh, skin off like that, in here. Cut it a little bit longer, a little bit more like that. Put my bowl in here, take my knife, and then getting rid of all the segment, we're getting rid of, taking all the segment off, and leaving the skin in here. In here, there we go. Voila, a little bit more in that. Okay, in here, you see, it's so simple to do that. It's a wonderful grapefruit right in season we are late winter so it is a wintry kind of fruit um, I like ruby because I love the color and I think it's slightly sweeter than the other one and I'm gonna put that in here there we go let's put it in there voila and with what's left a little squeeze Taking all the juices there, you know, I mean, you, you know what I mean. Replace the vinegar, the lemon, you know, in here. I've got my salt, I've got my pepper, I've got pretty much everything in here. And in here, got a good toss around. You see, you can always take some parsley, take a few sprinkle, put it in there, in there, in there, in there. Gonna take me plates in there. I'm gonna use red this time. Sorry. I'm gonna put my thing in here. Nice homey family uh, cuisine. My children love it. Very simple to make. I mean, there's no, I mean, there's no excuses. To not. I mean, sorry. I, I'm so salivating that I can't find my word to describe my experience here. I uh, in here. Bon appétit. 